here with you and today I'm here to share another uh, 100 things challenge so one of the items that I made was um, I'm always looking for ideas of using my envelopes and the smaller ones are very difficult to uh, use and then I was watching Leanne uh, from creatively free to be me and she showed a, an envelope that somebody had sent to her it has nothing to do with this but it made me think of why don't I make some um, smaller envelopes that it could be used in journals with these? So I made a whole big pile of them and uh, I've used my scraps and stuff. So this, making these counts as an item. So all of these, here I even put a little pocket in the front and in the back because I just thought it was going to be really fun. And um, so I think these in journals and I left some of the strings because I just think it's it's fun that they're made this way. So all of these here, and I've kept the um, the windows because I thought that could be really fun too, fun element. So I make all of these, and but I was thinking that some of them are plainer. So obviously not the ones with the windows, but the other ones. And see this, I I just think it's so cute having. And this one is funny because it lost, I don't know, or it never had this little plastic so it's still it's open kind of funny so I thought out of this so this is one item that I made but now with some of these I thought it'd be kind of fun to decorate them a bit a bit more so that's what I was thinking of doing with today with you guys is to do this and uh, this I believe is gonna be item number 71 or something 72 maybe I've put myself like really, really high goals um, and it's not happening as fast as I'd like to. I really want to get this challenge done so I can actually start shopping again. I'm, uh, and it's it's funny because I'm not sure that I'll be buying much, but just the, the idea that I can't is driving me bananas. And it's mostly, you know, the thrift store shopping that I miss so, so, so much. Okay, so... I'm thinking I just want to just put on some splash of whatever I'm just gonna I'm not sure I'm hoping that the camera above is gonna pick up this I pulled out some stencils and I thought I could use the stencils after and I don't want to cover up the whole security envelope thing because I kind of like the fact that you can tell it's a security envelope and I've put the nice color on the outside. Like I didn't put the white on the outside. And I did that on purpose so that I could do this. So how about... And I'm going light because I wanted to... I really wanted to dry fast. I want this to be one of the fast little projects of using some sort of a uh, big loop. Hmm. I haven't done journaling out of the box for like forever. By the way, I I was uh, I used to use the G O O T B as the abbreviation for my journaling out of the box. Well, I was approached by somebody that said they've got the rights to uh, that term. So anyway, I don't know if it's if it's true, and I don't know if it's even possible. But I didn't want to take a chance of having issues with YouTube or whatever. So I removed all of those things from those uh, initials from all of my videos. Took forever. I was very uh, very sad about that. Um, and a bit upset because I mean it was just uh, an abbreviation that I was using and uh, so I don't know I think what happened is that my my videos were coming out way more than uh, whatever she was making or doing because it seemed to be a singer so I, I don't understand why this like we've got such a big difference of, uh, of product but I think my my videos were coming out way more often than hers, so she probably got upset with that. 
anyway and on top of it like she started using that way after uh, I, I looked at her videos and she started she probably registered that name way after I had started doing my stuff but anyhow it is what it is and uh, I'm just gonna have to find something else to call it because makes it very long to write in the description in the title as well okay so I've done that my, my brush so I'm thinking I'd like to do some uh, purples on the other one now. I don't know how they're going to come. I'm shaking because I don't want to put too much in this. Uh, so I don't know how these are going to turn out. I also pulled out some word stencils because I thought that could be kind of fun to put a word on top of the envelope. I love using my sewing machine on these, but boy oh boy is it ever long when you have so many of them. Because you I stitch the, the flap and then I stitch the the sides. a bit of that too here because there's the uh, the pink at the top I just think it's make it fun Just wiping the excess of this is making me want to do one. I might do that right after. I need to find an image or something to put on there before I go and do that. Okay, so that being done, now, like I said, I want to do some stenciling and I've pulled out a bunch of little stencils some that I haven't used like because they're way too clean it's either I wipe them down so well which I highly doubt that I did because I never do um, or I haven't used them so it's high time that I start using them Oh, that's kind of fun. <coughs> Some sort of alphabet like this. Kind of like that.
I really like that. Okay, and how about on this one? I'll end up curving a lot more. This is going to be like the impossible stencil to clean. Because it's got way too many little parts that are flimsy and easy to destroy in the process. Oh, well, this is fun. I'm really liking this. And I can put a word on top. that. I kind of want to unify the front and the back. What I'm thinking is those little envelopes could be used in um, a journal and they could be just attached with uh, a paper clip and it would make it really fun I think. Oh I really really like this one. Oh I love how that turned out. This is fun. I should do this more often. Okay, I've got another one here. I'm trying to find big stencils. <clears throat> Put a bit more back paint. Just think black goes with everything. And then I can put some white splatters. And that'd be fun. Going splatter crazy these days. Cute. I don't know why I never thought of doing them this way, the smaller ones. I wonder if I should make some to put in my Etsy store. Like I've mentioned in many videos, I think I'm always trying to put new items that are different and, you know, something unique and that's my own and not uh, a copy of somebody else's uh, ideas. So it's kind of fun to, uh, to do that. Oh, I've got another great design that would be awesome on this. Use that. And this too, I think, would be great with uh, a word probably on top. Because this is probably going to cover a lot more than some of the others. I think this is so cute. I'm loving it. I have so many stencils and I I just adore stencils, but I tend to forget to use them. Or I gravitate towards the same ones over and over again. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. And I'm gonna go a bit nuts and put that here too. Just kind of unify this a bit more. Yeah, I'm loving this how this turned out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So 
sometimes you get projects that you're really happy with and that's one of them. You just put these little stencils away and then I'm going to find uh, some more ones and I can put on top of these. So this one I don't think I want to put a word but I might want to do something else with it. And I don't want to put a word on this one either because it already has alphabet, but I'm thinking of something else as well. Okay, so I've got this here and I still have a bit of black paint. So let's just wipe this off on this. So I'll have two backgrounds done for my little journaling out of the box. It's funny because I was almost finished with those little cards and then like a lot of other stuff, I just stopped doing it. I get into the groove of stuff and then I move on to other things and then I forget about the first thing I was doing. <clears throat> so I have all kinds of words here so let's find some that could go with this. Um, I like this one I think because I think these, yeah I think this could be perfect for this. They're just the right size. So you saw like I put my I now put the storage is my new idea and I really love I really love how this is working for me so I put them all together on a big clip and uh, this way I get to um, <clears throat> when I'm searching for a word it's not as difficult anymore because it used to be very difficult to find them and now I don't no longer have trouble with it so I really love that. So I'm going to put a bit of white for the word. So. And you can tell that this is not the first time I use white with this. And again, because it's a, there's little parts that lift and stuff, I don't tend to really clean it. Oh, I really love that. Yeah, that one I'm calling it done. And this one I'm going to put create. Yeah, I love these. These are amazing. At least I th I'm thinking they're amazing. <laughs> you might be thinking, oh my god, what the hell? They're not. Get over yourself already, women. But sometimes you get happy with, excited with what you've done. And this is one of those times when I'm quite pleased with this idea. I like this. Uh, I like where this is taking me. I think this little envelope is so sweet and the dots are repeating themselves. I, oh, I just love them. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to make more. I, after one point, okay, I was really tired of putting the envelopes, uh, opening them up and putting them uh, upside down and, and uh, and then choosing the the top of them so I stopped I put some some of the extras that I had pulled out and uh, put them in one of those pouches like Sharon Green showed us so that uh, I can refer back to it at a later date um, because there's no way I was making uh, I was making anything with it okay now I told you I didn't want to put words on this but, 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 I'm thinking it'd be really cool. Just have to find another color that would pop on this. Hmm. This I can put a really, really dark blue. So that's going to be easy. Um, but that one... I'm not sure. I don't want to put white. I don't want to put black because I already did and I, I want to show my letters. I have this super dark because it's definitely not the type of color I would have chosen. 
they came with a set so so I might as well use it right I put a tiny bit here just don't need a lot to write one word and hopefully I won't regret my decision of doing this can't see it because I use the same thing as <coughs> as I use for my white. Well, I think I'll let it dry, and I'll probably go around the letters with uh, a black paint, a black um, pen. I mean. Okay, so then uh, this one I want to put love. Or do I put imagine? Maybe imagine. doesn't really show all that much oh well it's okay didn't come out as as amazing as these ones here I might do uh, the same thing as I want to do here in black I might do this in white just to highlight the word okay so this is another thing done hope uh, it inspires you to try doing your own and to uh, Recycle, recycle, recycle. I mean, that's my, I love recycling. I love being able to reuse stuff that I've, I've got um, and stuff like the envelopes that I get as free um, and using my little leftover piece of paper and making something. And I really think these turned out pretty cool. So yeah, that's it. Bye everyone.